Everton defender James Tarkovsky has admitted he has been playing with an injury for this uh, the season that is underway. The Everton defender hasn't quite been at his best, but in an interview he did admit that he is having to manage the load between games. He picked up an injury in pre-season training and admitted it was the first gaffer's day he's missed since he uh, has done them with Sean Dyche. You could tell he's not quite been at it so far, Tarkovsky, and obviously he's someone who I think needs to train every day. I think he said that he likes to be out training on the grass, as he called it, every day, and getting up to fitness, and that helps him manage through games. But obviously, if you can't train a full pelt, and you're not available every day to keep that fitness up, you can't struggle a little bit in games, and I think we've saw that. He has improved in the last few weeks, but Clearly, playing through an injury isn't ideal, but uh, he'll be using this international break to hopefully continue his recovery. We need him back to full fitness as well as uh, Jared Branthway. We need those two firing again, like they did last season when they became England's best two defenders over the full season, uh, statistically anyway, and helped Everton to 14 clean sheets. Uh, Oral Mangala played for Belgium last night as they drew 2-2. In Italy, the uh, Belgian midfielder played 68 minutes of the game. The Belgian press weren't massively impressed with them, despite having a 97% passing accuracy in the game and winning two out of five of his duels. He was rated three out of ten by some journalists for his performance, who said he only got better once the Italians went down to ten then. Uh, elsewhere, Jordan Pickford played for England at Wembley as they were beaten 2-1 by Greece in the Nations League. Uh, Everton have posted images today on their social media accounts of the new screens being tested down at Everton New Stadium. They look impressive, uh, massive screens. It's great to see uh, that all the kinds of progress that we've seen in the last few weeks really coming together. Now, it looks like it's almost finished the place, which is uh, incredible. It's mad to think, I said this the other day, I think it's it's crazy to think that sort of nine months' time, that's where we will all be getting together to watch Everton play game, you know, competitive games. Um, Everton are due to have the keys handed over to them in the next six to eight weeks as that uh, as Lango Rock move out from there and all the, the fitting of the stuff inside continues ahead of proposed test events around March time I think it is so the stadium development moving along towards its uh, finality now and finally tonight the final ever sleep out is taking place at Goodison Park that is uh, done to raise money and awareness for homelessness in the city. It's an amazing uh, event. Myself and Ped have already done it before. It was a, it was cold, um, but it was a great event. Loads of camaraderie there. Trophy TV's John Blaine is doing it tonight. Uh, Dave Murray as well, who has uh, been on the show today, he is doing it as well, raising money for homelessness. If you've got anything to donate, pound if you can spare it, there will be a link in the description it's obviously raising money for such a fantastic and important local cause. That's it from us. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great weekend. See you later.